I wanted to open this video by explaining why I've entitled this as a preview video, not a review video. And it's quite simply, Dr. Kabushi's Labyrinthian Laboratory is hard as nails, and I've only got to just around 20% of the game completed, and it's taking me hours and hours and hours to get there, and I just needed to get something out here to say this game is engrossing as hell, but I haven't got very far, but oh my god, my brain's exploded, and puzzle fans need to leap on this game now. <laughs> In Dr. Kabushi's Labyrinthian Laboratory, it's similar to a Sokoban style game-ish, but the idea is that you get to move up, down, left and right, and that's all you do, to try and get your character to the exit of each of the levels. Each level is a floor and a tower that your dog falafel has run off into, but each level is full of traps and there are various different puppets that are controlling all of these traps for Dr. Kabushi, giving you like weird tannoy messages and things like that as you go through the game. I absolutely love the setup of it, I love the soundtrack, Fear of Dark has done a superb job here, but the real fiendishness in Dr. Kabushi comes with the way how the puzzles are set up. Each level, single screen, thrown down in front of you with a like a, a maze of different walls and nooks and crannies for you to get lost in. You move forward one space, and then depending on what the traps are doing around you, they'll either be stationary ones, such as spikes, that will then pop up once you've like left them, or there might be turrets that will slowly move around 90 degrees, and if you're in its line of sight, if the eye hits you, it will fire a fireball and kill you. There are then, though, the more crucial bots, and these bots are programmed to do certain things to try and catch you as you wander through the level. So the very first ones that you get are devil bots, and these are uh, bots that will move two spaces towards you. Now spot the problem here, you can only move one at a time, and it's turn-based. So you'll make a move, then they'll make a move. And so what you're trying to do is work out how to get around all of these mazes without them catching up and electrocuting you. There's another one that moves just one space but will then hammer you if you get close to it and now kind of patrol weird and wonderful long corridors. So you have to try and work out how to tease them out or kill them with say a turret or a spike or collapsible platforms that they can't move off of because after a turn they collapse. There's all kinds of weird and wonderful things that you can use to try and get rid of these bots. But one of the crucial mechanics is trying to get them caught up in all of the different nooks and crannies and walls that are out there. Because they're moving towards you from line of sight. So if you're over in the top right hand side of the screen, the bots will continue to move towards you so long as they've got the ability to do so. But if they get caught up in a like L-shaped wall and they can't move up or right towards you, they're stuck in the wall. They can't reverse back and go somewhere else. They're like on ascent to get towards you. And so what you'll be doing is working out how to get round all of the mazes, trap the bots as you go, and or have enough time to make a break for the exit once you've got them all into certain positions. As you can imagine, that's a lot. And because the levels are so densely full of all of these different choices and things that you can do, so much of Dr. Kabushi is working out, am I on the right track? Am I going in the right direction? Have I made the right steps first and foremost that I'm then basing my hypotheses and ideas off of? And so what I was doing was screenshotting the levels, taking them out of the game, and then trying to plot out manually where everything goes, because the bots follow a very specific logic. And once you understand that, you can start to try and plot out where things go. But it's one of those games where like, it's going to take you a good 30, 40 goes to get past like level 7 or 8 <laughs> before you get anywhere. And that's why this game is taking me hours to get through. And I wanted to get a video out there now because it's been so long since I've had a real hardcore puzzle engage me on such fundamental and simple to understand rules. But the levels are just like fiendishly put together and I mean fiendishly so yeah this is although it's titled as a preview it is a buy recommendation from me from anyone that loves hardcore puzzles um, I've had to drop some trailer footage in here because so much of what I'm doing here is just me failing really badly on the early levels because that's as far as I've got 
My Steam will show that I've only been playing this for a couple of hours. I promise you, I've then been screenshotting and working out stuff for several more hours into the hours of morning <laughs> on the screen, trying to plot out how things can work. Um, and I'm only around level oh, 16, 17. So yeah, just mwah, over 100 levels in all. Great fun to play. Huge recommendation, but only for extreme puzzle fiends only. This is a gem. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.